Okay, welcome, now. welcome back to another video. Um, there's a lot of wind, wind noise in the background here, so hopefully you can hear me. Um, so I had a problem with this turbine also. And what was happening was um, I noticed the power wasn't wasn't really going over 100 watt. So I said I better check it and. I checked it at the um, controller on the, each of the phases and in one phase I was getting uh, like 20 volts or whatever and then on the other side of it I was only getting 8 volts and when I took it down, took it down off the pole, dropped it down, uh, one of my cables was loose. It was, uh, it was either loose or completely off, I don't know because when I pulled it out it came out very easily so um, I'm joining joining all the cables back up again I'm using these guys um, to join I think they're, the, they're really the only things that you can use for this kind of thing now I was using the screw down connector and that was a really bad idea because uh, yeah it just popped out of it so using these now and then just uh, join it together in the in the joiner there, squeeze it down as much as you can and shape it up to give it a bit of extra strength and yeah, so that's basically what happened so one of these cables was just hanging in the pole probably yeah, I don't know, just touching off the pole probably and the turbine was slightly over spinning while that was happening as well when the when the wind was at it and I said okay we definitely have a problem there so yeah so hopefully hopefully everything's okay inside I'm not gonna open it up I'm just gonna pop this join these guys all up together and uh, get it back in the air we have wind today uh, not not that much but uh, yesterday was a crazy day that, that that turbine there did four kilowatt that's quite exceptional for I mean, a 500 watt turbine, I would say, even on a windy day. And um, actually, yeah, and the, I have I got blades from uh, Green Energy. Um, they sent me some blades, and they're bigger than those ones that are on that turbine. And I was going to install them today and do a video on it, but I noticed I have a problem with that turbine. Does it, the bottom bearing also on that turbine is? Um, it's slowly failing so I need to get that changed before I do any work on the blades because uh, yeah so I basically need to change that bottom tur uh, bottom uh, this bearing here on that turbine as well this one's perfect there's no movement whatsoever on it so uh, yeah so that's four years up in the up in the air so and we get a lot of rain and so much rain so it's probably good that it even lasted that long uh, yeah so I'll get that first and then I can do the blades but first anyway need to get this done and put it back up on the pole and see what it's doing after that should be okay hopefully